Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm planning to replace one of the switch on this switchboard. So basically you see that uh, there are two switches. One switch to control the internal light and the second switch is to control the external light that is the porch light. Idea is to replace one of the switch which is uh, controlling the outside light with this uh, daylight saving wall timer. So basically this wall timer acts like a switch but it has more advanced feature as if like uh, the, you can program it um, to adjust the daylight saving uh, you can program it for uh, next seven days or seven day setting is there uh, you if in case if you would like to override the program uh, there is a manual on off switch is also available as you see on the left side then uh, this switch is also has the feature dusk to dawn so you need not to worry about that part also so automatically it will adjust for the uh, daylight saving and uh, based on the area uh, based on the area where you live it will adjust for dusk to dawn so no need to control outside light using the manual um, switch as as i shown earlier here it is the only problem with this installation is that um, the current face plate can um, handle the small switch whereas the daylight saving wall timer switch is little bit bigger so what I'm first going to do is I'm going to remove this face plate and replace this existing face plate with this face plate so the on the left side I'll be installing the daylight saving um, timer and on the right side I will be keeping the old switch as it is uh, which controls the internal light so pretty simple project the only thing is I'm going to show you the wirings in detail and uh, for that first I have to open this uh, face plate uh, which is pretty simple there are four screws are there so unscrew them and remove the face plate so let me do that part and show you the existing wiring and I'll open the um, box also this wall timer box and sh I'll show you that how exactly the existing light will be replaced uh, existing switch wiring will be replaced with this new switch wiring i open the face plate and now it shows me all the wires and the switch internals of the switch how they have connected so the one which the, the switch one, uh, which we are going to replace is on the left side so i'll concentrate on that switch particularly so on this switch you will see that there are three wires connected to the switch two black wires and one copper wire bare copper wire so the bare copper wire is nothing but the ground wire which we know and two black wire acts as a load wire and the uh, hot wire so if if i compare this setup the existing three wire setup with the instruction manual which came with this switch you'll see that for this uh, for installing this wall timer you need four wires so basically we have two black wires which acts as a load wire and hot wire no issues and we do have the bare copper wire which acts as a ground wire which is a green but we don't have the neutral wire so if for some reason if you don't have the neutral wire uh, this switch will not work for uh, you the thing and one more thing you, you have to remember that if neutral wire is not there most of the time you will see the bundle of neutral wires for that entire switchboard inside the switch box in my case also same case so three wires two black wires and one bare copper wire and if you see this bundle of white wires is nothing but the neutral wire so it is not this they they didn't use this um, uh, neutral wires okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, check that which white which why uh, which white wire neutral wire is coming to is supposed to come to this switch and use that white wire on the um for, for the installation because without having this white wire this installation will not complete so let me uh, figure it out which white wire is uh, tied up with this particular switch and then we'll have four wires 
one white wire that is neutral wire one bare copper wire that is ground wire and two black wires hot and line uh, hot and line wires uh, sorry hot and load wires so give me a few minutes and i will show you those four wires and uh, we'll hook up the uh, entire switch new switch and replace the existing switch now i've separated out the white wire which is required for this switch and this is the separated out white wire from the white wire bundle so now this white wire acts as a neutral wire this there are two black wires and one copper wire now if you look carefully on the existing circuit board there is something called o over here and this the wire which is coming to those o is nothing but our hot wire the other black wire is the load wire bare copper wire is the ground wire and this white wire as my i mentioned is the neutral wire so if you compare these four wires with the circuit diagram you will see that one load wire one hot wire one neutral wire and one ground wire so i think uh, we have all the four wires and if i show you this switch on this switch also some markings are there so if you see there is o l o which is for the hot wire l i this is for the um uh, load wire and g for the ground wire that is bare copper wire and white wire go will go to this end that is neutral so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, install all these wires and i'll show you the final setup and after that it just matter of putting the face plate this is how it looks so uh, after the installation uh, of course not the face plate is not yet um, installed but basically i just want to show you that uh, there is one load wire one white wire um, coming to this which is neutral wire that is this one another white uh, black wire is going uh, on the other side let me show that part also this one and this bare copper wire is going to the ground and you see that it started displaying everything um if if everything is okay what Uh, you will see that as soon as you click on the um, manually you switch on or switch off the button the backlight of this display will pop up let me show you that you see that and this means that everything is working fine and i have already tested this one uh, in the manual mode as well as in the auto mode now i'm going to install the face plate and we'll show you the final setup and this is the final setup after installing the face plate looks pretty clean and neat and tidy it is now showing the current time also and i've set up it in the auto mode with dusk to dawn setting in the dusk to dawn setting Thanks for watching.